points I'm discovering. I initially, and I'm giving you again today, there are four core points on overcoming challenges. I've discussed two of them. The third one, developing resilience, is resilience I'm discussing today. And I'm giving you 10 points as well. So you need to follow me. But I know I always like to show you PowerPoint presentation at times so that as I speak, either I'm being fast or I'm too slow, whatever you also can read along. And uh, despite any cultural pronunciation or tonation or whatever diction, you can still understand exactly what I'm saying. Let's join languages before I can any of my videos, this one, or send me a feedback through my email. Anyway, let's continue. Overcoming challenges, anchor point. Anchor three, developing resilience and bouncing back from adversity. How do we do it? How do we bounce back? I'm giving you 10 points for that. Normally, like introduction, like I did for the last three ones, overcoming challenges requires the ability to embrace failure and learn from setbacks. When we face obstacles or setbacks, it is vital for us to approach them as learning opportunities rather than need some multiple roadblocks. Remember, setbacks and failures are inherent in life and everyone faces them at one point or the other. So by embracing failure and learning from setbacks, you can develop resilience, adaptability, and a growth mindset that will enable you to overcome these challenges. So if effective problem solving and decision making techniques are vital when it comes to overcoming challenges. And these techniques help you navigate complex situations, analyze options, and make informed choices. I said there are four anchor points. I have discussed the strategies for embracing failure and learning from setbacks. I have discussed techniques for problem solving and decision making. Today, I'm discussing developing resilience and bouncing back from adversity and giving you 10 points how that is possible. Number one, cultivate a positive mindset. A positive mindset forms the foundation of resilience. Train yourself to focus on the positive aspect of a situation. In the face of adversity, practice gratitude. Honestly, we should learn to practice gratitude. Let your heart be full of gratitude. Self-affirmation and positive self-talk. By shifting your perspective and embracing optimism, you can build mental resilience and approach challenges with a proactive attitude. Number two, be the robust support system. Surround yourself with supportive network of family, friends, members, mentors, colleagues. Those that share your dreams or your goals, share your challenges with them and seek their guidance and emotional support. A robust support system provides a sense of belonging, encouragement, and reassurance during difficult times. It can also offer different perspectives and insights that may help you navigate adversity more effectively. Number three, develop problem solving skills. By enhancing your problem solving skills, you empower, you are empowered, you can tackle any challenges more effectively. I said this sometimes, one of them, that you break down your complexity into smaller manageable tasks. When you analyze them, then you will be able to solve them from different perspectives and potentials. By only your problem solving abilities, you can confidently approach challenges and find innovative ways to overcome them. Number four, practice self-care and stress management. You need to take care of your physical self. You need to take care of your emotional 
self, that is your emotion, your mental well-being, they are very crucial for resilience. So you take care of yourself physically, emotionally, and mentally. Prioritize self-care activities, such as exercise. If you cannot do much exercise, walk, try to walk. Every eating, love yourself correctly by eating only those things that will nourish your body. Get yourself adequate sleep. Most of us are guilty of that. We are not sleeping enough. But let's try to have adequate sleep. Relax. Relaxation techniques like meditation, deep breathing exercise. You breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Managing stress effectively helps you maintain clarity of mind and emotional stability, enabling you to bounce back more quickly from adversity. Number five, cultivate adaptability and flexibility. Resilient individuals, they are adaptable and flexible in the face of change and adversity. So you have to develop the ability to adjust your plans, expectations and strategies when circumstances required it. Embrace uncertainty and view it as an opportunity for growth and learning. So by cultivating adaptability, you can easily navigate unexpected challenges and setbacks. Number six, maintain a growth mindset. I already said that. Set realistic goals and milestones. I said it's a word of, because they obviously intertwined. You know your qualification, you know your capability, you know your ability, you know your goals. So set realistic goals and milestones according to your capability and skills, you know your skills. Number eight, develop emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence involves understanding and managing emotions effectively. Enhance your self-awareness by recognizing your emotions and their impact on your thoughts and behaviors. You know, this mood swing. Some people have, they have swinging moods. You must understand your moods and your emotions so that you, from, by doing that, you can enhance your self-awareness of them. Learn to regulate your emotions. Learn to regulate your moods and make rational decisions. Don't say, oh, I'm making that decision in a bad mood. What is a bad mood? What is a good mood? Learn to evaluate your mood. And especially during difficult situations. Additionally, develop empathy towards others and cultivate solid interpersonal skills, contributing to resilience and successful relationships. Number nine and 10, learn from setbacks and failures. I said that. Number 10, practice self-compassion. You need to practice self-compassion. Compassion is an attribute of God which is communicable and we can learn from it. So by developing resilience and bouncing back from adversity, it is a lifelong journey, honestly. It's not something you achieve immediately or at a God just now. So it is a lifelong journey journey. And by implementing these strategies and cultivating resilience, you can navigate challenges more effectively, grow from adversity, and emerge more robust and confident in overcoming future obstacles. I'm stopping here today. I'm going back for relaxation, meditation, before I go into other tasks. So, I hope you enjoy it. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel. And if you are subscribed, turn on your notification button. And you please share it as well so that many more people can gain 